news and events that affect your life. Hear about it on the new 106.7 My Talker Radio. Now, Curtis Wright on the beat. We're back live here on the beat, 705 across southeastern North Carolina. Boy, it's chilly out there. I just left our next guest into the studios, and we're excited to have him here in person. Uh, we've been talking over the phone, a new client uh, and a new sponsor for us here, uh, joining our WMYT family, and that is Grant Perry. He is the founder and principal of Pinehurst Capital, and his offices are in Pinehurst, North Carolina, and here in Wilmington, North Carolina. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. And it's great to have you. It's great to have you in studio. Um, we have a lot to talk about uh, today. Um, I, I, before we get to to your new book that's coming out and some other things we're going to talk about, I was just I started a thought with you off mic, and we had to come back from the break. I, I'm curious as to how you're approaching. And by the way, Pinehurst Capital. If you haven't been online, PinehurstCapital.net. Uh, I mean, we could spend a couple hours and we are I've been spending a couple of weeks talking about your firm and all that you offer all the services and your team and and everything so folks do, go online and do your homework um, I'm curious uh, what it's like and more about your approach to talking to people uh, in the marketplace you know people you know in our community um, about your services but um, I just think there's so much uncertainty out there right now. People are worried, I would think, about you know what to do, how to manage my investment accounts, how to manage my savings, what to do in these times, what's coming down the road. What's it like, and, and what are the real concerns that people are expressing to you? Curtis, it's ironic that you said uh, do your research, folks, uh, because uh, my new book, The Money Changers of Wall Street, which is due out in January, really addresses that issue and that is that people need to understand and research the different types of financial advisors that are available and essentially there are only two kinds you have your typical Wall Street stockbroker uh, they represent about 90 percent of the investment advisory community and then you have fee-based fiduciaries which represent the other 10 percent and it's very important for a uh, an investor, you, me, the average person that's trying to save for retirement, to understand who it is they're sitting across the table from, because their uh, their mode of business is much much different. And uh, as a matter of fact, Tony Robbins has a new book coming out next month uh, called Money Master the Game. And it essentially discusses the same thing, that people need to understand the difference between the typical stockbroker and a true fee-based fiduciary. And we've talked about, about that uh, for the last couple of weeks. Um, how many, in your mind, and I'm curious in your mind what you think, of the folks out there that are really, well, I'll use a phrase I used to use, on autopilot. And really, number one, really aren't involved, have just turned everything over to, say, that 90 percent, someone in that 90 percent, and really are just crossing their fingers, crossing their eyes, and hoping for the best. Yeah, you know, they just ac accept the status quo. They say, you know, everybody else is, de is working with this firm or that firm. That's where I'm going to go. And uh, until they actually experience both sides of the table, they don't. They can't really appreciate what they can gain from working with a true fiduciary. Do you involve? I mean, do you really uh, t uh, uh, make an effort uh, and a push, if you will, on your clients to say you need to be involved with me? We need to meet more than once a year to give me your Christmas card to me and me to you. That kind of thing. I mean, is that how you approach bringing the client in? to the to process and saying you must be involved? Oh, it goes way beyond that, Curtis. Um, our, our initial pre-client process involves about five meetings. Uh, the first meeting is strictly to help the, un, the person understand the difference between a fiduciary and a stockbroker and who they're sitting across the table from. I've had people that tried to do business on the first uh, appointment, and, and I won't allow it until they've gone through 
a three, four, five meeting process, they can't do business with me because it's it's essential that not only do they understand the two different varieties of financial advisors, but also the the mode of uh, operations that we have, so that they under, understand the process completely, so that hopefully they don't have to make that important decision ever again. They can do it mm-hmm. for, for for once and for all. And then we also uh, require them to meet with us on a quarterly basis. So every three months, they're expected to come into my office to review their financial plans, to understand whether we're on track or if we need to make adjustments, and uh, do that on an ongoing year-after-year basis. I, I Again, I, I come back to, in these times, it must be, um, especially for the folks who have – uh, gone into their already their retirement years and they know what they've got so to speak their basket and um, it must be very um, a much concern I mean in, in these times for them because it's not like you can decide well I'm going to go back to work and I'll go back working for the firm I was with or I'll go back and do this I mean you know those days are gone uh, and what they've got is what they've got and that's in your hands and uh it, it must be, uh, 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 there must be a lot of concerns of folks. What, what are you, uh, you know, I want to back up a little bit. One of the things I think is important is to support who you are and what your firm is, is that you're independent, that you're an independent, um, you have a broker dealer, of course, but you're independent. And I think that that's essential uh, to support your philosophy, your vision, and your operation. Uh, we are independent, uh, but we do not have a broker dealer. And a, a true independent fee only fiduciary cannot be affiliated with oh, okay. a, a broker dealer. That's what a that's where a stock broker mm-hmm. has his affiliations. But um, uh, you're right. Uh, the you know the, the the big Wall Street firms and the what used to be small Wall Street firms have all consolidated. You know, a classic example is is Bank of America buying Merrill Lynch or merging with Merrill Lynch. They actually bought Merrill Lynch. But, uh, you know, anybody, any clients that were previously with Merrill Lynch in the state of North Carolina that had less than $3 million in their account now are serviced out of a service center in Charlotte. So they're like, it's like they're a number now. They're not a, a an individually uh, respected and cared for client like they might have once been when they started out with Merrill Lynch. Now they've got yeah. to deal with a, a bank in Charlotte on the telephone. Well, you know, I, I, I shared that with you. And, and when I, again, I came from outside the industry into the industry. I was a stockbroker investment advisor. And I saw the changes and it was, wow, these the banks contr- taking over control that's just not what it's all about. It should be independent advice. It should be looking at what's best. It should be looking at different, uh, we call them products, but different uh, components for your investment plan and what works best overall to get you where you need to go and support what you know your, the client's goals are. And, and I just kept seeing this thing being overshadowed by, well, let's just say other goals of those big institutions that were coming in, taking over in the investment industry. Well, that's a key component of most independent fiduciaries, Curtis, is that not only are they learned in the investment world, but most of us has, have come up uh, in, through the financial planning ranks. So we understand all the different facets of a financial plan, not just investments. We delve into risk management, insurance, estate planning, tax planning, uh, family dynamics, all of the things that can ultimately affect your financial future Mm -hmm. and the future of your family as well. And that's what I think, again, I I, I encourage folks to go online to pinehurstcapital.net, is to look at the depth and actually the scope of your practice. That's what I call it. It's a a practice. And and you know, so many people just focus on who's that guy and he's gonna handle my stuff or she's gonna handle my, no, no, no. It's like the firm and the depth that you have in tax uh, advice you're giving, as well as, as you said, all the components of planning, putting together a plan and and all the things that people have to deal with, insurance and all that, that they have to deal with and transfer of wealth to the next generation. From A to Z. 
We'll be right back. I want to talk about uh, the book, Money Changers of Wall Street, coming out uh, in January. And then you mentioned uh, Tony Robbins' book. Let's uh, get to that and more when we get back with Grant Perry. He is the founder and principal of Pinehurst Capital with offices both in Pinehurst and Wilmington. Don't forget, again, to go online, pinehurstcapital.net. We'll be back. I got to get to the IRS. You're saying no corruption. None. No. Not even a smidgen of corruption. Curtis Wright, the new 106.7 My Talker Radio. Let's get back to Curtis Wright on the beat with the North Carolina Business Spotlight. Brought to you by Pinehurst Capital. Here for you. Here for family. Here for life. For all your financial, investment, and planning needs, give Pinehurst Capital a call at 910-235-4140. And we are back here live on the new 106.7 FM My Talker Radio. And for the folks following us on our virtual channel, uh, don't forget to go to WMIT1067FM.com and click on the Talk Media button. And you can see uh, Grant. He's there, and he's right on the screen. And... Uh, Anyway, uh, we have uh, have had a great time talking these last uh, couple weeks, and it's great to have you in studio. Uh, I want to talk about your new book. That's uh, what, what you want to get to. Uh, I know you've touched on it the last couple weeks, but uh, again, tell us uh, what folks can expect uh, and, and how it's available, number one, I guess we should say. Uh, you can get it on Amazon.com okay. uh, probably towards the end of January. But if you, uh, uh, we've got a little supply, and so if uh, your listeners want to, Give us a call. Uh -huh. We can. We might send them a free copy. So, okay. And tell. And, and again, uh, tell us. Uh, you know what it's about, but also uh, what you know. What was it that I don't know spurred you to to, to write the book? Um, just to educate people on you know who they're sitting across the table from when they're talking about their their life savings uh, is to teach people again. I, I know we keep mentioning these two words. The difference between stockbrokers and fiduciaries, the two okay. different kinds of financial advisors in the world. And uh, so it's, it's a primer on who, who they feel like they should be working with mm -hmm. and uh, the differences in the two, the uh, quality of service that they're going to get from one to the other, and uh, ultimately how they're treated. Uh, you know, are, are they treated like uh, one of millions and they're just a number? Mm -hmm. Or are they a client of a local, high-touch, hands-on, total comprehensive financial planning firm? And that's what we, that's what we are. You know, uh, your book, and you mentioned uh, Tony Robbins' book, Money, How to uh, Master the Game, uh, uh, trying to get the idea, these ideas across the clients. How, how well is it received? Uh, are you... Are, are you, as you say, you, you meet with a client a lot before you actually start to do business with them. I think it's so important because it is such a personal relationship that you, you need with the client, I think, um, so that there's trust and understanding of, of you know, what your motives are and that truly your motives are uh, to make sure that their goals are met. Um, how do they receive uh, this information? Are they interested? Well, they're not accustomed to it. That's for that's for sure. Because it's always like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I hire you for. No, or or is it? No, no. I want to know uh, more about what you're talking about. Well, I help I help them to understand or to realize. I should say they already know it. But mm -hmm. but your life, my life, everybody's life changes. It's mm -hmm. it's in constant flux, and so I think that's why I think it's important to meet at least quarterly with all my clients because. You know, your family dynamics change, your financial life changes, uh, all kinds of things can happen in the course of three months. And I, it's, just not, it's just not adequate to meet once a year. Or, you know, I have clients come in and they say, I haven't met with my investment advisor in three years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they just... That's common. And you they just that. do everything on the telephone and you just can't make that connection and really delve deep into what's going on in their lives, not just their financial lives, but their lives in general, talking on the telephone. It's I, just, you gotta make eye contact. When I first got into the business, that was one of the things that just really struck me, that I would talk to people and they'd say, well, no one's talked to me. Well, think about the time that I came in. I came in because uh, to the, right after the bubble burst, after the Clinton years. And 
these I, I go back to that phrase on autopilot their their plans were well first of all were they really the plans for them or were they just something cobbled together to generate commissions and then it was on autopilot you mean you haven't seen it you mean you haven't changed you mean you haven't sat down and thought you know some you know looked at your risk looked at uh, opportunities and 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 the answer kept coming back no 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 not really you're the first one that said we we need to meet more often that's so important. I would, th you know, I think now that was back then. I would think today that's even more important because of how things are in the marketplace, in the economy, and in people's lives are changing. It is because uh, Curtis, unless you know, unless you've got a ten million dollar plus portfolio, you're considered a retail customer. Yeah. You know, ten million plus is called an institutional customer. They're the ones that get the preferential treatment. But if you know, under 10 million, you pretty much, it's a cookie cutter mm -hmm. approach as far as the big, the big firms are concerned. We, we talked uh, about your office here in Wilmington, in the Wilmington area. And, and folks, uh, uh, real quickly, Grant, tell them where that's located. Uh, it's in the Landfall Executive Suites, uh, which is near the food line, land, I think it's called um, Landfall Shopping Center. Off, right? yep. Yeah, right down from Mayfair, uh, where the Northeast Public Library is, folks. It's right behind there, real simple to get to. Um, here in, in, in our area, we, we've gone through a lot of changes. I mean, there's been a lot of changes in the industry, so thus there's been a lot of people that have left, a lot of advisors that have left. Uh, what in particular, you know, you've been here for a couple years, though. What, what, what are the things here? Is there a difference between what are the concerns of people down here versus, say, you're seeing in Pinehurst, or is that pretty universal? Uh, they're actually very similar markets. Uh, they're they're fairly affluent markets, especially immediately around my offices here here in, in Pinehurst. Uh, the population of affluent is much greater here than in Pinehurst. Pinehurst has about seven thousand people in my demographic uh, within a seventeen mile radius of my mm. office in Pinehurst. Here, there are fourteen thousand people in my demographic within a four mile radius yeah. of my office so a much more concentration of wealth in this area and they're vastly underserved mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we've really been thrilled about this market because we've uh, the response that we've gotten has just been phenomenal yeah i i, I have to i have to tell you uh, uh, to my listeners out there that knowing the industry that um, a firm with your resources and scope of the services and the, and the background that you all have uh, that's far and few between here uh, it is it's so much of it's gone so much towards a retail side of it uh, very few uh, people that are here and and I think it's great that uh, um, you know you're, you're really uh, uh, you're in touch with this area I think you say underserved I'm, I'm hesitating because underserved is is the perfect word for it one of the, the things that uh, I wanted to also uh, talk to you a little bit about before you leave is um, how do people go I mean you're here tell the folks because I know folks are hearing and, and this happens in me when I broadcast at different places they go well that guy's there if he's from Pinehurst but you're here and you're here often, and this is this is much as a home base as you are Pinehurst now, right? Well, it's you know it's a little hard to establish that uh, uh, moniker, if you will, having the name Pinehurst Capital. When we uh, when we first started in Pinehurst 31 years ago, uh, it was a very recognizable name, and we didn't foresee extending our market out beyond uh, you were just happy there looking at your windows seeing the greens right now well that, yeah that was good too and i love to play golf but i also love the coast too and uh so i said well you know we ought to we ought to check out the demographics in wilmington and uh i checked into the brightsville beach and landfall area because that's the area i like to mm -hmm. to frequent and i said wow this is a this place has really grown since we were yeah. here back in the mid '90s, and uh, so I said that would be a great place to do business at. There, there are a lot of people that that we could really help there. And the landfall suites are a great place. Easy parking, easy location, easy to get there. And when folks, uh, a lot of our folks, and this has been a big push to this area uh, of of the county now, and a lot of folks are out and about shopping or they're doing things. It's very convenient. And uh, when you say landfall uh, suites, I, there's. I, very few people they don't know where it is so it's it's a it's a great location folks there's one other thing I want to mention before I let him go today Grant Perry again the uh, 
a founder and principal. Uh, he's a chartered financial consultant uh, at Pinehurst Capital. Uh, it's go online again. I know I've mentioned this a couple times, but for me, I, I was very impressed by the website because you have all these videos that are on different subjects, and you can sit and watch them. And I think it gives uh, so much, um, such a depth of, of information about your firm and what you're really all about. And so I want to encourage folks to go online to PinehurstCapital.net. You, the different pages, you know, there's there's the, the about us, and you'll talk about the team and that. But on on different pages, there's different short videos that really uh, really give you a, a true feeling and a true understanding of what the firm's all about and what they can offer you. And and, and I must say, it 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 almost has a family feeling. Your firm does for all the professionals you have working for you, all the different things you're doing for your clients. Well, that's what it's all about. Curtis, that's why our our uh, motto is here for you, here for family, and here for life. Thank you for being with us. Grant Perry is the principal and founder of Pinehurst Capital. And don't forget to go to pinehurstcapital.net. We'll be back. I'm Curtis Wright. 2, 3, 5, 41, 40.